Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And ever since the last month and a half or so, when Discovery bought out Warner Brothers and became Warner Brothers Discovery, there's been a lot of heads rolling. Uh, it's been quite a bloodbath. And there's been a lot of pieces shifting in and shifting out. But the one focus that David Vaslav has is primarily... DC films and then he's from what I've heard it's been a very big disappointment in his eyes so with that being said now we get this and I didn't expect to see this don't know why this was actually created but let's see what it says Henry Cavill said to be aging out of Superman role David Vaslav Frustrated with DC Films' output. Just think, it's been a good five, almost six years since we've seen Superman on the screen. Not including Zack Snyder's Justice League. We're talking 2017, the Justice League movie by Josh Whedon. And boom, no Superman since. I'd be frustrated too. A new report on the current state of Warner Brothers, DC Films Division suggests there's a percentage among the studio's top brass that Henry Cavill is aging out of his Superman role at 39 years old. Wow, so now they're putting an age limit on him. That's fucked up. We've been hearing reports of some unrest at Warner Brothers following the recent Discovery deal and a new variety piece would appear to confirm that certain studio execs have clashed regarding the best way to move forward with DC Films Division. Apparently, Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Vaslav is frustrated that DC cinematic output has been inconsistent and that there hasn't been significant long-term planning in terms of rolling out sequels and follow-ups to popular movies. Well, the thing is, is that the old regime and Sarnoff and Toby and Walter Hamada and that whole bunch, they had social justice politics and all kind of woke shit interfere with what was most important and that was taking care of the fans and making the fucking money that's what it boils down to people playing fucking games with other folks careers directors actors you name it under the premise of just being woke me Too didn't help. BLM and all those little startup fucking groups. None of that shit helped. But with all that shit combined. Over what's been happening with the COOF and everything for the last two years. And actually going on way before that. But it has all led to the fucking downfall of DC Films. The CW has turned to shit. Warner Brothers is a fucking laughing stock. And only till David Vaslov showing up has Warner Brothers been looked at in a more serious light. They lost Christopher Nolan as a director. Hired J.J. Abrams that never did shit for the 500 fucking million that he received. CNN Plus. The Harry Potter franchise, there's a bunch of fucking reasons why things have went the way they went. It was more important to people to play politics than the fucking plan to put out good fucking movies and make money. And that's what it all boils down to. And that's why David Vaslav has walked into a fucking shit show, which has been Warner Brothers and AT&T. Vaslav is still said to be looking for a Kevin Feige type figure to take charge of the DCEU and reportedly approached veteran Fox and Paramount executive Emma Watts about taking the job before talks fell apart. He also spoke to Disney film chief and Warner Brothers leader Alan Horn about becoming a consultant, but we're not sure if anything came of it. Variety's article goes on to mention that any newly appointed DC films chief will face challenges, including the fate of Superman, before suggesting that Man of Steel and Justice League star Henry Cavill is aging out of the role. We're not sure if this is just the writer's personal take or the current perception at Warner Brothers, but either way, it's a ludicrous statement 
Cavill is 39. If Henry Cavill continues to look the way he looks, exercising and doing everything else that he does for himself, he could be Superman for the next 10, 15 years. But that's my opinion. In any event, it does sound like plans for an iconic hero might be in the flux with no finalized goal for the Superman film that was in development with a script from Ta-Nehisi Coates. Yeah, fuck Ta-Nehisi Coates. Let's hope, let's hope that Vaslav is able to appoint someone who can steer this ship and finally harness the full potential of these great characters. And I agree. Superman is the most iconic, the most recognizable character in all the world. And for him to have been taking a back seat to all the bullshit that's been going on at Warner Brothers, the potential's there. David Vaslov can see it. But we need to get through the hurdles of bullshit before something great can come from this. But I'm very hopeful that we are getting on the right track because David Vaslav is asking all he's asking all the right questions. He's just looking for the answer. That's my take. That's how I feel. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Do you think Henry Cavill is starting to age out and keeping his role as Superman? I don't believe so. But if you whether you do or you don't, let me know in the comment section below. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media, and I'm out. Peace.